capacity, crowd is on hand today. Battle. Execution of unbelievably complex maneuvers. Their excellent musicianship make this band outstanding in the world. As you might imagine, behind the performance lies a remarkable chapter in the Ohio story. Behind every program of the Ohio State Marching Band lies hours of planning, paperwork, and engineering. Before each game, a theme for the program must be worked out, and the actual formations decided upon. On a miniature football field, band director Jack Evans and his assistants, Forrest Stoll and Charles Spahn, maneuver 120 lead soldiers, each one representing a member of the marching band. Every formation has its problems. How long will it take the men to move from one formation into the next? How can it be placed so that it will look best to the greatest number of spectators? The Ohio State developed what is called the exploding technique, meaning that once a formation has served its purpose, the men move at random to their places for the next number. The discussion in this session is built around the life of John Philip Sousa, the March King, thus the crown formation. The band marching on a football field has several reference points. The sidelines, the yard lines, and the insert lines. But for band purposes, the field is further subdivided into what are called grid lines. Every formation is worked out on the grid chart. From this, each band member knows where he must be standing when the formation is complete. Each grid is 64 inches long. For example, the man at the corner of the crown knows from the layout sheet that his position is on the 40-yard line, six grids from the sideline. The next formation is a violin. By counting grid lines again, each man locates his new position. When the crown formation is over, he marches by the shortest path to his place in the violin formation. While the change is taking place, there's no pattern on the field. But when the last man steps into position, the spectators see the violin. Jack Evans gets rehearsal started by giving each band member a copy of the grid sheets for the week's program. The band rehearses two hours a day, five days a week after the season is underway. At the start of the season, however, new members must be indoctrinated and taught the fundamentals of the art. Then rehearsals go on for hours and hours. The band men must learn to take exactly eight 22 and a half inch steps between the five yard line markers. They must learn to turn and pivot and handle their instruments so that nobody gets hurt. That isn't so much of a trick for the drums, but the tubas, well, now that's another matter. It's a high honor to play in the Ohio State Marching Band and every man works his heart out to make the grade. There's fun, of course, but mostly it's hard work. The drums are still at it, diligent as ever. However, the fellow with the big one is thinking seriously, he told us, of taking up the piccolo. The first Ohio State Band was organized in 1878, but it wasn't until the 1920s that it became nationally prominent. The famed Tubby Essington, pioneer strutting drum major, started a national trend. And in that period, the band was increased to 120 men, its present strength, and became the first college all-brass band in the country. Oh, here comes the band again. Now let's pick them up. We mentioned earlier the exploding technique employed by the band. Here the men are moving from one formation into the next. Every man in that field is counting his steps. The music he is playing is his cue. When he reaches his place for the Diamond Ohio formation, he marks time. When the last man steps into position, the formation is completed. Now, watch as the band breaks the Ohio formation to execute the crown maneuver we saw on the planning board. As usual, the tubas have the longest distance to cover. Their positions are important for appearance. 
In this formation, for example, they are the jewels in the crown. The band's public address announcer explains the Sousa theme as the show progresses. Early in his career, Sousa, the March King, played the violin, which is forming here across 65 yards of the football field. In laying out the band show, the musical arrangements must be written to provide the exact number of steps required between formations. Once the show is underway, nothing can stop it, for the music is continuous. If a single beat were missed, the band would be thrown into confusion. The word Sousa becomes USA, and a living emblem for the grand finale to the music of the stars and stripes forever. Well, the band show's about over. Here comes the team out for the second half. And that's the story of the Ohio State Marching Band one of the world's great musical organizations, whose members are proud of the tradition that makes the marching band an outstanding chapter in the Ohio story.